Hi, how is everybody doing today? Today is Friday, February 12th, 2021. My name is Jim Kingman. I wanted to give everybody my end of week nine pepper grow update and uh, kind of walk you through where everything stands. So uh, thanks for joining me and uh, hope you uh, enjoy this, uh, this walkthrough. Thanks. Okay, let's take a look at the main grow tent. See how things are looking today. So, uh, as you can see, uh, they look to be really coming along pretty nicely. Got ish, some issues with a few of them are got a, it's a little bit of leaf curl. I think that might have had to do with a little bit of too much nutrients. But again, I had backed off on that. Also, I think the the water might have been getting a little out of control. So I'm been trying to let them dry out a little bit. But uh, you know, as you can see. Uh, they're looking really nice. I um, have one of these plants right here. This is actually a, a Carolina Reaper from a Save Seed from last year. The color on that would indicate that that was probably a cross, but I'm going to grow that out and, uh, and see how that looks, what that turns into. It might be kind of cool. Um, I have uh, probably about uh, 80 plants in this tent, and uh, these are all looking like they're doing pretty good. I'm actually running a couple HLG lights, HLG 260s for one half of my 4x8. And on the other side of the tent, I actually have a Mars Hydro, I think it's a TS3000 for that 4x4 area. be interesting to kind of see the growth differences between the two sides, but for right now, as you can see, they're pretty, looking pretty much all, uh, pretty much on par. Let me uh, show, you, show you a couple other areas I have some peppers in. So this is outside my grow tent. I actually have a couple of these shells. Um, these are like LED, I guess they're called LED fluorescence. Uh, these I usually use for starting, but um, they actually have a pretty decent uh, area for growth as far as height. So I took some of these plants that were getting a little bit large and had transplanted them into like a little bit like a 1.3 gallon container. Uh, I got a seven nice seven pot Primo there. This is a Daddle uh, crossed with a bubblegum variety. This is actually uh, a plant that I'm growing out some seeds for uh, Batman. He had a big rusty Batman variety that had a stinger on it last year and uh, trying to grow that out and see what we can get for some results there. And this is actually another uh, Batman variety, Batman Bubblegum. I uh, was pretty excited to get this this year. I thought I had it last year and it didn't grow true. So hopefully this one will, will grow out nicely. So appreciate him uh, sending me those seeds. Over here on this other shelf, I had some that were, those are destined for some, some local friends. I got a little few extras, those are still in three by threes. I do have a, a couple of plants here. I had actually had a couple started in Cracky. I added a few more um, that were, you know, just figured a couple extras. I want to see how they do. I want to also prepare them for my outside uh, hydroponics this year. Got a couple of boots on the left side here. I've actually had converted these to DWC for now. And these two on the right, one in the back is a sriracha from the factory tour seeds. They got that sourced out from Pepper Donkey. And the, uh, this other one's a Kangstar Lemon Starburst. So looking to see, hopefully these uh, will do a little, get a little bit bigger. These were started a little bit later. But uh, they're, they're, you know, they're coming along. And like I said, DWC set up. I got one pump running, uh, a small air stone in each one of these. And... Uh, We'll see how they do. So I, I haven't done a lot of lot of work with DWC. I I uh, trying to learn a little bit as I go forward. So hopefully uh, these will these will pick up here a little bit. This last area is a table I actually have outside my grow room, and what I'm doing is uh, those are, these are the larger plants. I'm hopefully going to get these shifted into some larger pots. Uh, these are looking. Like they're uh, pretty happy. I got a couple, and I can see a couple of these plants here. They're got a little bit of this uh, weird leaf curl on some of the new growth. But uh, I think that might have been a little bit too much light. I backed it off a little bit. But uh, for the most part, they're coming along pretty nice. This one's doing kind of the same thing. I'm getting a little bit of 
a little bit of leaf curl there. It's a yellow, yellow reaper. It's actually from seeds I saved, saved last year. But uh, yeah, they're they're coming along pretty good. Here's a here's a real, real big plant. This one's actually coming along. Let's see, it's a uh, actually a giant peach habanero. This is actually a, a variety that is trying to be stabilized or being stabilized by Roger Torsythe. He has, I believe, the red, the orange. I think I actually got that peach from White Hot Peppers. Uh, and, uh, you know, trying to trying to grow those all up this year, see how large of a habanero I can get from a, I guess there's a rucket in regards to how big they've got. Uh, this this is a nice looking plant here too. This is a purple hab. I grew these last year. They, uh, they, they were really, really tasty. So I actually ended up growing a couple of these plants this year. We'll see if we can get some, some decent volume out of them and as i had mentioned before these these darker foliage plants i just think they look really really nice i think i got i got a plan uh it's a thunderstorm it's a thunderstorm this one here i think this is a hallow's eve yeah it's a hallow's eve uh what's this one it's a blue christmas that was actually from seeds were originally sourced to me by peter stanley uh dracula plant real pretty plant uh, let's see what else we got up here got a uh, black phantom that was actually sourced to me by Mallory and Jim Farrell just a lot of a lot of plants here that people have given me seeds and just really really appreciative of all of that all that generosity I got a lot of seeds from um, a lady by the name of truck Tran she actually gave me some milder peppers are to grow out because she knew my wife was looking for something a little milder so i actually have several varieties here that she has provided for me um there's another one that came from truck she antep ashidoma if i'm pronouncing the name correctly <laughs> um but yeah just just a lot of a lot of friends that have shared seeds andy ovens has, has shared a lot with me um, and, and just, you know, not to exclude anybody, but off the top of my head here, I'm just thinking of all the, all the, all the generosity that has made this hobby, you know, as great as it has been, it actually adds to it a lot. The people are, are really make a big, big part of it. So, but anyway, um, I just wanted to, uh, give everybody that update and, uh, get this posted up on YouTube. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to try to try to get this thing uh, going here, trying to get it a little, learn a little bit each week in, in video. And I got to look to see if I can maybe get some fancy headers and that type of stuff on the video. But for right now, keep it simple and uh, we'll uh, talk next week. Have a nice day. Bye.